Hello everyone, Michael and Alex back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I manage colors within Power Apps. If you're into Power Apps, Power Automate, SharePoint, and Teams videos, feel free to subscribe because I'll be making more videos and tutorials on that. So let's get into the video about managing colors within Power Apps. So let me go ahead and just create a blank canvas app. I'll name it Test. Actually, we'll name it Marketing App because I use the marketing list all the time. We have, let's do, let's add some data. I'll just get it from the SharePoint site marketing. Okay, so we got some data. So how I manage colors, um, I learned this from my boss actually. We want to go ahead and create a new screen. This screen is not going to be used at all within the application. It's just going to be like if you go within Power Apps, the screen's available. Uh, but if users won't be able to access it unless you make it where they can access it. All right, so let's rename the screen to screen color palette. How I manage colors is, let me go ahead and add a few rectangles. I'll just copy these. Uh, control C and control V to copy and paste. Uh, I'll, let's do five colors actually. So we got one, two, three, four, and five. Now you can add labels to these if you want to. So that would be the plus sign, add a label. But uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave the rectangles as they are and just rename them a rectangle one. Actually, let's do uh, main color. Then we'll do secondary color. And you can name these whatever you want. All right, so let me go grab some colors. Um, if you don't know, there's this website called C-O-O-L-O-R-S dot C-O, and it actually gives you like a palette of colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and use, let's go with this one. So I'm going to copy all these hex codes and add them to here. If you don't know how to do that, let me go in, uh, select the main color, and it will be the fill property that fills this. So right now you're using the RGBA um, formula. We don't want to use that. We want to use color value. And this will allow you to put in a hex code. So double brackets, um, number of pound symbol, I think they call it. And let me copy this. And let me go ahead and paste that correctly. I didn't do it correctly again. Put in the double brackets. And there we go. As you can see, uh, import our color, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for the rest of them. And I'll be back real quick. So as you can see, I changed the fill property on all these rectangles to different colors. Uh, I decided to go with a different color for the third one because the color was kind of faint. So I just changed it. So we have all these colors now. If you want to add a label, like uh, first color, main color, actually, you can do that. So just be like this. Um, I think you get the point, so I'm not going to do them all. But if you want like a cleaner UI for like if you have multiple users working on a power up, they will they'll be able to go in the screen and be able to see that. We'll do a form just so I can like have some data to work with. So we'll do grocery list. And now we have all our fields. To use the color palette that we made, uh, let's say I want to change the border on these, these data card values. So I don't want the blue that comes with the standard um, as default with Microsoft. I want to change all these border colors to something else. So let me remove their code for border color property. And let me just go ahead and reference our main color. So this will be main color and make sure you're in the correct property it would be main color that fill so you're actually getting the fill property which is this nice little red um, I wouldn't use this in an application because it kind of looks like an error message but uh, we'll just let it roll with that and let's say I want all these borders to be red and I don't want to change them for each of these so I can actually just use the property from the data card value that's referencing the main color 
So this is kind of like a smarter way to code. So this would be data car value, value one dot border color. So it's looking at this border's colors and saying, hey, I want to steal that property or like use it. And we can actually do that for all of them. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right, as you can see, I changed the border color for all these to our main color that we have here. And it all depends on what company you're working for or whoever you're working with. They, they usually have their own color palette, so you can kind of like use that. So let me just go ahead and add some more color. So let's say we want to change the labels. So this would be the color. So as you can see, it's, it's blue. And let's say I want to change this to which color looks good. Let's go with the third color. I, I like this kind of dark onyx color. So data card key one is the title field. And let's first go for this color. Let's go third color dot fill. And that's going to get the fill color, which is ox color. And we want to do this for each of these. So let's go to the color property on all these all these data card keys within the form. I'll just change this to data card key one dot fill. So if I have to change, actually, data key card one dot fill. Oh, this will be the color property from this data card key one. So we want the color instead of the fill. And there we go. Let me go to this. And I want to reference the same one. So this would be data card key one color. All right, so everything is linked up to title data card one. So if I want to make a change to all these colors, let's say I don't like the red, and who would, to be honest. <laughs> so let's say I wanted to change it to, let's go with, uh, let's go with the fourth color. So I want to change it to the fourth color, and let's say I want to change the, the title colors to all these labels. I want to change it to something else. I would only have to do it within this one because all the other items are referencing the title data card one. So let me go ahead. Let's go data card key one. So this is all the labels on top. Let's say I want to change it to the, uh, the fourth color. So I can do fourth color dot fill. And this is going to change them for all of them. So it will save you coding time because you don't have to do it individually for all of them. So it's a nice little trick you can do. And let me go to data card value one. And as you can see, we're using the main color dot fill. Uh, let's go with the was it fifth color. Dot fill. Eh, we'll leave it like that. So as you can see, uh, that's that's kind of like an easy way to manage colors within Power Apps. You're just referencing your color palette. You don't have to go in each individual um, item and say say color value. And then you gotta go over and copy the hex code, which is like some type of color. So you don't have to do that. You can just uh, make it simple, make it easy for you to manage your colors, and that's how you do it within Power Apps, or at least how I do it. If you have a better way of managing colors within Power Apps, let me know in the comments. That'll be the video for today. So if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be producing some more Power Apps videos.